Hey, I'm Fight the Flat Earth, and welcome back to the channel that does to stupidity what the governor did to Herschel Green. I hope you're all enjoying Sleeping Warrior Week. Me and him were supposed to be finishing off the week with a debate, but he's gone and chickened out. And along with that debate, I was going to do a video that kind of let you inside the mind of Anthony Riley, the two-time runner-up for Dumb Fuck of the Year. You're not getting the debate, but I'm still going to do that video. I warn you now, though, his mind is a dark and scary place full of stupidity and ego beyond measure. So guys, this is the top 10 dumbest things ever said by Sleeping Warrior. We're living on a disc, floating through space, with a tiny sun. Fly the fly, fly, fly the fly. Anthony Riley, aka Sleeping Warrior, aka Lily is stupid as fuck. He's so dense that frankly, I'm surprised he doesn't collapse into a black hole and destroy the planet. He's such a complete and utter moron that making a top 10 was a really hard thing to do. There's so much idiocracy that I just couldn't decide what should be in a top 10. But I'm gonna take a bash at it anyway. A massive shout out to Sean Hufford and his playlist of over 60 Lily interactions. Let's kick off his stupidity with an astounding revelation that no one has ever repeated the Bedford Level experiment. Yeah, he really said that. The Bedford Level experiment was actually repeated many times, first by Samuel Parallax Robotham, who repeated his original experiment no less than six times. It was then repeated by Alfred Wallace in response to the famous wager, then more times by Robotham, then in 1903 by H.U. Oldham, then in 1904 by Lady Blunt, who tried to recreate the experiment with photos for the first time, then of course we have the fantastic display of ineptitude when the flat earth community themselves try to recreate the experiment led by allegedly Dave, AKA I've got magic piss. For more about that, check out my video I did with scientist Mel on the Bedford level experiment. Anthony Riley once made the claim that square miles and the mile squared are the same thing. Whoa, please, please go to the remedial classroom. Right class, settle down and stop trying to stick the crayons up your nose, Mr. Oakley. Okay, surprise, surprise, Mr. Riley got something wrong again. Uh, did, did you just ask me for a citation that you got something wrong, Mr. Riley? Yeah. Well, every test paper I've ever marked for you is a pretty good indicator. And your recent video where you tried to measure density with a parts per million meter that actually measures the electrical conductivity of a fluid and not density. Oh, and the playlist for Sleeping Warrior Week, which has over 20 videos from the community. Anyway, Mr. Riley, you said that the square mile and mile squared are the same thing. Here is why you are an idiot. The square mile is an imperial and US unit of measure for an area equal to the area of a square with a side length of one statute mile. It should not be confused with miles square, which refers to a square region with each side having the specified length. For instance, 20 miles squared has an area equal to 400 square miles. A rectangle of 10 times 40 miles likewise has an area of 400 square miles, but it is not 20 miles square. Now, Mr. Riley, I'd like you to come and write lines on the board that say, I will not chicken out from a debate agreement 1,000 times. When faced with the evidence of the Earth's rotation that is the Foucault pendulum, Anthony Riley uploaded this fantastic display of fat Earth research. Do you even Google, bro? Paul Michel Foucault. The guy we all know for the pendulum effect. <laughs> Apparently it shows the rotation of the earth. What do we know about Foucault? Not that much really. French, pendulums, that's about it. That's all we know about him. This is the guy. He died in uh, 1988. Uh, 1984, aged 57. Does anybody know what he died of? I didn't know what he died of. Presumably old age. There's not that much in it, but for the fact that he was gay, openly gay, 
He died of HIV, and that's about as much as you can tell. Everything else in here is generally it's not that, you know, not that interesting. There's not that much in it. One thing I want to show you is that if you do a control and F in here and type in pendulum, no mention of the pendulum. Foucault's pendulum is supposed to show the rotation of the Earth. Wouldn't you think that if that was true, it would at least get a mention in his Wikipedia page? To see that full clip, check it out on the channel Surf Puzzle. Now, Anthony tried to discredit the Foucault pendulum by attacking the character of Michel Foucault. Anthony Riley, you stupid motherfucker. The Foucault pendulum is credited to Leon Foucault, a French physicist that died 52 years before Michel Foucault was even born. Riley once claimed that you can see stars through a solar filter. He claimed that these stars were stars that had never been charted. He, he's so wrong that, that it hurts. What he was seeing was in fact just dead or hot pixels. You wouldn't see stars for a solar filter, sleeping dumbass, as solar filters filter out over 99.99% .99 of light. The man that wanted to be a lawyer, that once had the court say to him, and I quote, the court is at a loss as to how Mr. Riley has reached this conclusion, also had the incredible revelation that the Harvest Moon, or Hunter Moon, a name given to full moons in late summer and early autumn in the Northern Hemisphere, was 8 to 10 times the size of a normal moon. 8 to 10 times, for flat feet Pete's sake. Anthony, do you not think that the several billion people that live in the Northern Hemisphere would have noticed that happening? Are you guys starting to see why this was such a hard list to make? So, Sleeping Warrior doesn't understand the difference between odds and a ratio. Just just listen to this. Oh wait, before you do, make sure you've got face palm protection. Ah, oh, shit. It's a bit late to be saying that, isn't it? I kind of should have said that at the start. I'm, I'm totally getting sued. He refuses to accept that the balance or the likelihood or the probability, call it what you will, of something that is cited by Cavendish himself to be not greater than 50 million to one of the object's weight. He doesn't seem to understand that the chances of that being the cause for what we observe is infinitesimally small. We're getting into dangerous territory now, guys. The stupid here gets so strong that you're going to taste it in the morning. He once said that you should get a solar eclipse every month. Anthony Riley is an expert when it comes to eclipses, right? A solar eclipse will happen every single month. See? Absolute genius. So I And the reason we don't see them, he says, is that these solar eclipses that happen every month happen out at sea. Fuck me, that's stupid. Ooh, top three. Sleepy Warrior says that time cannot be an independent variable. Really? Really? This is one that most of you will know about. When asked to demonstrate his intelligence with a simple maths question regarding the internal angles of a triangle, this happened. Anthony, if a triangle has the sides one, one and one, do you know what the angles of the triangle are? Which kind of triangle are you on about? Are you on about like a right angle triangle? The triangle has sides one, one, and one. Do you know what the angles are? Um, the angles would be... Well, it would be an equilateral triangle, wouldn't it? Right, so what are the angles? <clears throat> now, I'm going to ask this again. If you have a triangle with sides of 1, 1, and 1, what are the angles? I'm going to, I'm going to pull up a triangle calculator. 
Let, let's do this again. Anthony, a triangle has sides one, one, and one. What are the angles? Is somebody recording this? Because this is just priceless. Well, the, the one I'm using, is not, it's not giving me any when I do it. <laughs> so either this, this calculator is wrong or you're wrong. We have a triangle with sides of one, one, and one. What are the angles? Yeah, so that's an equilateral triangle, right? Right, so what are the angles? Does that work on a right angle triangle? The sides are one, one, and one. What are the yeah. angles? When is that ever used in astronomical calculations for tr measuring trig? And number one, the dumbest thing Riley has ever said actually happened within the last week. During my interview with George Musser, which was in response to Riley misrepresenting him, Musser confirmed that my explanation of gravity was correct. The way that I describe it, and I would like to see if you agree with this, is that um, gravity is the warping of space-time by mass, which changes the locality of things, which manifests within um, physics that we can measure as an accelerating force. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. And I like the word manifestation. I mean, science... As you Riley has seen this, which completely destroys his stupid argument and somehow still claim victory. Here's the comment that he left me. He didn't support you at all. He's an academic that was polite to you when you were wrong. The denial was incredible. Apparently, George was just being nice, so he didn't disagree with me. He in fact backed Riley up and confirmed that the Cavendish is not valid. The stupid, it burns. <sighs> And that's it for now, because that's all I can take. And as I said, this was a hard list to make, so I think there will be a follow-up video soon. But before I go, I want to say a massive thank you to all my patrons. Your support allows me time to focus on my channel and do what's important, bringing you great content and fighting the flat earth. I want to say an extra massive thank you to my $200 patrons, Christopher Kane and Jeffrey Sloan. If you'd like to join and become part of the FTFE team, go to patreon.com forward slash FTFE. And thank you. Thank you for watching to the end. And I'd like to thank Lily because of him. I'm now in contact with someone actually in the scientific community. And we're doing a worldwide experiment to measure the circumference of our planet. If you enjoyed this video, then please leave a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And remember, stupidity is not a right. Fight the flat earth. Fight the flat. Fight the flat. Earth.